Welcome to Upgrade. I'm your host, Frank the Tank, and today we're going to bring in an RGB converter. So it's pretty much a hub for uh, converting your 4 pins, uh, 12 volts, into either 5 volts or additional 12 volts. So it's just a hub to retain that connection. And if you don't have that on the motherboard, you might be looking on the market for something like this. So let's take a look at it and see what you get when you purchase something like this. Uh, nice little item. So let's go ahead and open it up. All right. So let's open it up. See what you get when you purchase something like this. Uh, basically, it just tells you what it is. And I'm gonna do. We're gonna do a demo on it. What I'm talking about. My motherboard only has a four pin. It does not have a, five, a three pin. A lot of motherboards, new motherboards, do have the five volt three pin RGB lighting connection. But mine's unfortunately doesn't. And we do need at least two connections. So we're gonna see if we could get that going. And what you get instructions how to connect it um, they do give you the power source and you do have to connect one source into the motherboard the four pin motherboard in order to get this working so let's all go ahead and open it up and I thought it was gonna be a little bit bigger than what I thought it was but it's not it's a lot smaller let's go ahead and take it out take the box out take everything out of the box and this is it so Let's go and they give you the connections and they give you a uh, adhesive so you could actually glue it behind the monitor or behind the system uh, It could be away from eyes. So it's not that bad. So here in the front it tells you right here five volts a ground 12 volts 12 volts and then there's another five volts here. So let's go ahead and open it up Pretty much. This is what it is. This is a 12 volt connection and there is a startup area arrow arrow that tells you starting from here and the rest of this rgb lighting so from here you're going to connect this to a actual power source a sata connection to get that going so so what you got to do is first of all you find the ground connection it's right here it's the pins are on the bottom so you have to connect this first of all right connect this part in here and, and sometimes i don't like to push it but right now it seems like it's not going through so um it, these are a little sensitive, but this one in particular is a little tough. It won't even go in. There it is. There it is. And that's tough to get out. So try not to, once it goes in there, it's pretty, pretty much permanent. All right, so we got that in there. That connection, now one of these goes to your, to your motherboard and this one goes to the SATA, all right? So SATA connection motherboard and then you connect any multiple connection here that you require either five volts these are the three pins only and these are the four pins on here so you'll see right now when you these are four pins so it will look something like this on your motherboard you connect this and then on the additional connections that you get rgb lighting is a connection that you need or you want to require will connect into the if it's four pins it'll be 12 volts if it's three pins it's five volts just to remember that you don't want to burn things out and we're going to put that to the test here and we're going to set up a couple rgb lighting and connections that i have that i require to be converted and this is a great item to have i didn't even know it existed until i started looking into uh something that i didn't have in my motherboard and um the tower that i have require it has a three pins which it's not going to fit anywhere like this in fact one of them is blocked so that's why i was a little hesitant about buying this stuff but now that i see it's it's all converted and it's ready to go we're going to go set, set it up and see what you do when you get something like this if you can see it it's missing the pin here that's required and on this side too and this one has a, a, a actual fan connection that you could do that it's a five volt fan connection that you can plug in uh three pin connection and these are rgb lighting connection 12 volts four pins and of course they give you one here only for the five volts for right here five volts connection rgb lighting so let's go ahead and set that up and they give you the ground too if you need to connect ground so let's go ahead and set it up and see what you get when you purchase them like this and see um if it even works so let's go ahead and put it to test all right so here's a connection i have i have a random connection here this is a five volt connection for the rg uh, for the rgb lighting connection and we're gonna go, go ahead and connect that that the hub we're also going to connect the fan hub too, so set up on this. So let's go ahead and set up the fan hub. All right, so I have the RGB lighting here, one connection right here, if you guys can see it. Uh, let me zoom in so you guys can see a little bit better. So the connection's right there, the RGB lighting. It's on this side right here. Uh, I do have another one way on the top of the motherboard. 
it's right here i don't have the three pin connection that is required by this rgb lighting connection so this is a five volts and when we're looking at there it's it's 12 volts uh, so that's where this little bad boy comes in and we're gonna go ahead and connect it we're gonna put the adhesive in the back and see if we connect it actually has a magnet if you guys can see it it's magnetic see it plugs in automatically in here to any kind of metal that you have so i like that it comes with a magnet it even shows you a little magnet area put it anywhere you want but doesn't it doesn't <laughs> not to this kind of aluminum only the metal pieces of it so let's go ahead and set this up first so first of all what you want to do is decide where you want to plug in the top or the bottom and we decided to do it from the top so we could hide some of the connections and cable so we're going to plug this sucker in here we're going to send it through the other side and see if we could get it connected here and of course it tells you where to start from and here and then there's a little fig picture 12v that's the arrow that you're going to start in right there it is 12v right there and then the rest of it is dark. and it's, it's the same thing as here if it tells you the same exact thing so you can't mess this up all right so be careful because you could burn a bunch of stuff if you don't connect it properly all right so let's go ahead and commence all right so here we are with the five volts and there's only one rgb lighting connection i just noticed that and it's on this side so i was a little hesitant about that i wish i had two more um it does have a ground it does have a five volt and it does have another five volt here but it's not rgb lighting if you notice it's only rgb lighting one so a little disappointing they do give you two of rgb lighting 12 volts but fortunately they only give you one on this one so only one connection could be connected here so let's go ahead and connect that one and make it proper i might have to probably buy another different one that has two rgb five volts because um, i do have two of these so we're going to sacrifice one for now and go ahead and connect this one all right so we plug one rgb lighting five volts uh i thought it had two but it only has one and we're gonna magnetize it we're not even gonna we're not even gonna do anything to it we're just gonna leave it there and it does have an extra connection for actual fan and then we grab the sata connection here we just plug it in and that's pretty much it so let's go ahead and do that okay, we're gonna turn it on crank it up and we got lighting already in there so this is supposed to be lighting up with five volts already so let me crank it up and there's the rgb lighting if you guys can see it it's five volts it's i can't control it it's not set for a motherboard or anything like that unless i had the actual three pins in the motherboard unfortunately this motherboard only has the 12 volt pins but if you can see it my christmas tree is lit up um there's one connection here that i have an extra one and that one's it and that's about it i don't have any more other connections in here but it looks like everything's turning on like a christmas tree like it's supposed to you can see the front water cooling's transferring nice and neat i got the water running here uh, yeah, i am going to do an ex an extra valve here so i could take it off but the lighting's working the the hub's working perfect i didn't have the five volt three pin connection at all um so got that new replacement got an extra rgb 12 volts and also an additional fan connection on the hub so not bad like what i see cooling wise looking great 